Hey everyone, today we study a classical problem of probability, the secretary problem, which is about choosing the best job candidate. Applying for jobs can be stressful, so let me make this story about choosing the best prize. Suppose we are presented with n prizes in sequence. Upon seeing a prize, we must either accept it and end the game, or reject it and move to the next prize. There is no going back. At each time, the only information we are given is how the current price compares to the prizes that we have already seen. For instance, we are offered the first prize and we decide to reject it. Then we are offered the second prize. And now we know whether this prize is better or worse than the first one. Suppose we reject the second prize as well. Then we are offered the third prize Maybe the third one is better than the first two. Maybe then we accept it and we come home with a third prize. We want to pick the best prize. What shall we do? What is the optimal strategy in this game? It is an open-ended problem. There could be many strategies. An almost optimal strategy, though, is the following one. First, we learn. Reject the first prize, reject the second, reject the third, no matter how good they appear. Do this for the first k prizes. Then accept the first prize that is better than those k. So let's compute the probability of picking the best prize, the event that we denote by e, in terms of k. And then optimize, find the value of k that makes that probability of e as large as possible. To compute the probability of E, we will use the conditioning trick. The trick of conditioning is useful if your feeling is like, if only I knew something, it would help me solve the problem. What is that we would love to know in this problem? We would love to know which price is the best. So let's condition on the position of the best price. Let BI denote the event that the ith prize is the best, where i can be a number between 1 and n, the total number of prizes. The law of total probability allows us to compute the probability of e by summing the conditional probabilities times the probability of bi over all possible values of i. Let's compute all these terms. What is P of bi? It is a probability that the ith prize is the best. It is the unconditional probability. It's our belief whether ith prize is the best before seeing anything else, before this game. All prizes look the same to us before the game. So our belief is that any prize is equally likely. So that probability is 1 over n. And now let's compute this conditional probability. There are two cases. If the best prize happens to be among the first k, we will automatically reject it by the strategy. This is an unlucky situation. So if i is less than k, then the probability of picking the best prize, given that the best prize is i, is 0. Next, let's assume that the best prize is not among the first k. Assume that bi occurs, which means that the ith prize is best. We rejected the first k prizes. We assume that ith prize is the best and i is larger than k. So the best prize is somewhere here. When can we pick the best prize according to our strategy? In order for us to pick the best prize, each of these prizes must be worse than those that are rejected. Otherwise, if one of these guys is better than the ones we rejected, by our strategy, we will pick that one, and therefore we will lose the best. So we will pick the best prize if and only if all of these prizes, k plus 1 through i minus 1, 
are worse than the first k. And that means that within this group, the best price is here. So the best price among the first i minus one prizes is here. And what is the probability of this event? Any of these i minus one prizes are equally likely. So the probability that this will be the best among i minus one is one divided by i minus one. And probability that this is the best among i minus one is also one divided by i minus one, and so on. There are k of them. So the probability is k divided by i minus one. We showed that the probability that we pick the best price if the best price is at location i equals k divided by i minus one. So we can plug this value into this sum. Then this term becomes zero if i is less than k and k over i minus one if i is greater than k. Great, P of E equals the sum. The first K indices will automatically be zero. So the sum starts from K plus one. And the terms are this times this. Let's simplify the sum a little bit by moving the common factors outside the sum. Now let's shift the indices by one. Instead of starting from k plus 1, let's start from k. Instead of ending at n, we end at n minus 1. And instead of i minus 1, we'll get i. This is the probability that we pick the best prize with our strategy when we reject the first k prizes and accept the first prize that's better than them. But this expression looks complicated. What's the real dependence on k here? Let's simplify it asymptotically. This sum looks like a Riemann sum for some integral, specifically for the integral of 1 over x. So this is approximately the same as k over n, integral from k to n, 1 over x dx. The integral is just this area under the graph 1 over x between k and n. And this sum is this area, k to k plus 1 another rectangle, another rectangle, and so on and so forth. The last rectangle will be from n minus 1 right here to n. And the area under the graph and the sum of the areas of the rectangles are pretty close. Now we know how to integrate dx over x. The answer is the natural log. So the answer will be k over n natural log of x substitution between k and n and that's k over n, log of n minus log of k, so that's log of n over k. And that is a much nicer expression. This is the probability of getting the best price if we reject the first k. And now let's optimize this expression. Let's find the value of k that maximizes this, which is our chance to get the best price. To simplify our task, let's denote k over n by x then this expression becomes minus x natural log of x. And we would like to maximize it in x. To do that, as we were taught in calculus, we take the derivative and set it equal zero. Minus sign would not matter here. We take the derivative by the product rule, which is x prime times log x plus x times log x prime, which is one over x. So x cancels, we get one. Then we solve this equation and obtain that x equals 1 over e. We substitute this value 1 over e into this expression, and it becomes minus 1 over e log of 1 over e, which is 1 over e. Now remember, x was k over n. So from this, we get that the optimal value of k is n over e. And the optimal probability is 1 over e. 
So our answer to the secretary problem is the following strategy. Reject the first n over e prizes, or the 1 over e fraction of prizes, then accept the first prize that's better than those. The probability that we will get the best price with this strategy is 1 over e, approximately, or 0.37. This is very surprising. No matter how many prizes, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, our strategy will allow us to win the best prize with constant probability, 37%. Solving the secretary problem, we analyzed a particular stopping strategy. There are many other problems in mathematics, and in particular in probability theory that are related to stopping strategies. For example, when is the best time to stop investing and sell your investments? Secretary problem is fascinating, and I encourage you to read more about it. Stay with me. Have fun.